Hi, baby girl. How's it going? I hope you're good. I'm Cami. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I talk about music, concerts, festivals, and everything cool. And in 2023, I've been to 48 different concerts. Not 48 different concerts. It was it was a little bit more, but it was 48 different artists. And I had the brilliant idea to rank each and every one of them. Okay, so we're gonna start with the worst concert. That was not only the worst concert of my year, but probably of the decade of each and every person who saw Frank Ocean at Coachella. It was so bad, so bad, that almost doesn't count as the worst concert. I should have put it in, oh my God, I genuinely can't believe I was part of this experience in a bad way. It was the comeback of Frank Ocean in like five, six years, something like that, right? And everyone was very excited for it, especially cause the lineup of Coachella this year wasn't that good. So we were like, okay, Frank Ocean is the hope. And uh, first of all, he was at almost two hours late almost two hours if i'm not uh, what for sure apparently everything got delayed because he wanted to change the stage last minute he was supposed to have eyes and everything very last minute he made the whole coachella crew and his crew as well change everything and they have to figure it out okay now no, 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 my business at least he showed up right he would start playing his most famous songs and oh my god amazing it would have been great if we could recognize them because he changed literally everything about it if it was not the lyrics it would be the melody if it wasn't the melody it was gonna be the tempo like literally everything the camera on the the big screen couldn't focus on anything everything was messy and chaotic and i was telling my friend who is a big frank ocean fan by the way and i was like well maybe it's a concept maybe we're supposed to sit down and watch so we went to the back we were in the crowd we went to the back of the festival to sit down in there and watch it like it was a movie i was fine i was i was vibe it's understandable until the moment that he got up finally because he was sitting down the whole time for the first part he got up he starts dancing playing his songs like a spot fight. He wasn't singing. He wasn't looking at... I don't know if he was on something. I don't know if he wanted to make the news. I don't know if it was a, a really big need of therapy to work on the self-sabotage. I don't know what was that, but I got mad. That, I thought it was disrespectful. That, I was like, mm -mm, there's so much far that I can go dealing with something like that. So, absolutely no. I saw many people saying, oh, he lost his breath. Okay, then don't perform if you're not ready. Don't perform if you're not ready. Not singing, not even pretending not even trying uh-uh i can't fuck with that worst concert of my lifetime frank ocean i'm not gonna get too deep into any of them unless i have to so we have a few names bjork coachella it was pretty bad to be honest i know bjork has her legacy she's a legend good to see beautiful but it was traumatizing it was traumatizing i was having a low i was feeling bad i had to sit down i was like i can't i can't do this anymore mm -mm -mm. my friend really wanted to see bjork and i was like i can't physically be here anymore it's just bad vibes the vibe goes like drops it the academy is they were opening for um bring me the horizon i think i boring 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 five seconds of summer self-explanatory well for my valentine first of all i didn't even know that they were still performing and after i saw them live i understood why amber wild interesting because this is the band of the son of the guy from <laughs> So early. Of the guy from Kiss. I mean, the band was good. The songs have potential. I do see them, like, doing something better when they're getting older because apparently they're very young. And that's okay. But <laughs> he had the necessity to say every five, ten minutes that he was a, the son of the guy from Kiss and he was thanking his father. He should have been quiet because people do have a problem with that poor babies. I personally don't. I would love to be one. Now, it's inevitable. Oh, that sounded good. Inevitable. We're comparing you, a new artist, regardless of who your father is, a new artist, a new band, with literally kids. Gorillaz at Coachella. Gorillaz has been one of my biggest strings in life for so long. I wanted to see this band live so bad. Like they have the animation and everything, but it just doesn't sound good. I was very disappointed because Gorillaz was like one of my favorite bands ever. And now it definitely went very lower in my personal favorite band right bring me the horizon i'm not talking to you anymore okay until the next tour because bring me the horizon is one of my favorite bands especially live and they're the band that i've seen the most like eight times okay because they're so good i literally go everywhere for them they were opening they were not opening they were go headlining with follow boy okay and the set list was so bad like performance mm, amazing can't complain but 11 songs bring me the horizon uh we can do better and not only 11 songs not only the shortest set list ever but the new songs i felt with them a men strangers i know no where is wonderful life where is one by one i can't pull up with that bring me the horizon i love you but 
You see, it, it did make me feel certain type of way. It's not okay. I'm very disappointed and it's not okay, actually. Kendrick Lamar, Lollapalooza. I know, how can one put Kendrick Lamar in a bit disappointed? It's just because I couldn't see... I couldn't hear like it was the biggest crowd I've ever seen in my whole life good for him and it was so much that it was impossible to see like you couldn't see the big screen you couldn't see you couldn't hear anything like it was literally like the whole uh, Central Park what's it called Grand Park it was literally the whole thing you know so that was it this one also hurts me personally but Red Hot Chili Peppers my favorite band I am a bit disappointed but it's okay it's just cuz I the set list is also really short John Frusciante doesn't play the songs from the albums that he's not part of which heals me because I am a one hot man a dark necessities bitch so if you're not gonna play those albums I'm already upset all right Hot Chili Peppers if you come back because in 2024 they're on tour again if you come back with the same shit off the same set list I swear I'm gonna see them again but with 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 about heavy heart Guns N' Roses at Power Trip Festival in Hollywood Bowl it was my first time in Hollywood Bowl I was like I mean it's a three-hour show they're always late we're not gonna count that I've taken every opportunity to see them that I can okay I love Guns N' Roses but that's why I'm disappointed it's like I where's the charisma where's the interaction you know Axel Rose tries but that's the thing his voice is not the same anymore and I hate this topic because like how what is he in like 60 something like that I don't know like his oh you know like it's normal that his voice is not gonna be the same he does save his voice for the beginning of the concert so the first hour of Guns N' Roses it's gonna be pretty bad not lying to you but after that it's gonna be good again it's gonna be awesome but I know charisma it, it was like yeah I'm already slash so I can you know I'm already deaf so whatever yeah true but still I would like to see some some energy there you know I don't want that you feel like you're doing me a favor or that yeah, you're working even though that's your job yeah Okay, they're taking out the trash right now, but we're heading to I had fun and that was it. As the name says, I had fun and that was literally it. Like most of the concerts here, I forgot that I went to or they were pretty cool. They were a vibe and they were really nice, but it was nothing like, oh my God, that was the concert of my life. Billy Joe, I mean, I come thankful that I saw, but I bet Matson also forgot that I saw. He was healing, I guess. I love Sophie Tucker, but I, you have to be in the vibe, you know, it's always a vibe, but it's, I don't know. Flatter was actually very good. It was really good. It was one of the best concerts I saw at Coachella, but I guess because I didn't go ready for it or because I didn't know her very well, I wasn't like enjoying as much, but still, I remember having a lot of fun. Also, Dominic Fike, I, caralho, ca radio oh i don't have any other time to film so i'm gonna have to keep going with this okay anyways also dominic fike at coachella it was a really chill and vibey concert it was really nice i loved the crowd the crowd in there was mm, so good people so nice i don't know if he was sad i don't know if he's too young but the stage presence is lacking a little bit so if i were to analyze like wow this is a really good show this is one thing i would caralho this is one thing i would consider follow boy in there seconds to Mars no offense okay but yeah you see then because they're closing for someone they're ending for someone they're like whatever they're in a festival I don't know you're seeing someone else so that's why you end up seeing them as well that's the vibe of follow boy and 30 seconds to Mars I could say that 30 seconds to Mars is pretty bad and follow boys I could but the songs are famous and I I was with group of people so yeah it is fun okay if you don't take it serious Portugal the men was so cool but I was just sitting down there enjoying because I had just came from LA it was straight to the festival I was tired. I didn't know that many songs either. Okay, Afrojack, Odessa, and Of Mice and Men. Same thing. I had fun, but I didn't know any of the songs. Judas Priest. And the Black Keys. The Black Keys was actually very good. I feel I feel like I would have enjoyed more if it was like the second time. Oh my god, literally so good. San Atlantic is a band that I they are strolling. And I got to find out about them because one of my subscribers told me to listen to you. And I, I got obsessed. And the show was so good. They were opening for Modson. I remember their concert, but I don't remember Modson. That's the thing. This year was very much about seeing really good opening bands. Pretty much all the, the names here on the list, they were opening for someone or they were bands that they they have been getting a little bit more of recognition but they're not there yet Woo, I got goosebumps if you're a girl I don't care 
If you're a girl, I don't care. I don't give a shit. You have to see Ashniko. First of all, I thought she was like 21, 22 when I found out she's in her 30s. That made sense because I'm like, okay, she's so good. Performance, charisma, stage, Rosalia, very good. Probably one of the best concerts of my year for sure. And also, she was performing at the sunset. Oh, Rosalia, you did everything. You carried that festival. Kali Uki is also at Coachella. So good. I felt like I was in the cloud the whole time. Really good. Okay, Kali Uki, I am definitely singing again. I didn't know about water parks i got to meet them to work with them and everything not work but i understood they had two sold out nights at the fonda and i went to one of them so good and i'm not saying this because they are my friends just just google it just see yourself if you don't believe me you go there and see yourself let me even like fix my hair and sit straight because this deserves respect royal and the serpent i've been uh, talking about them for a while and i know those bitches are gonna blow up really soon i love them i love them i just wish they played a little later so more people would see them and the set list was a little longer so i would listen to them more turnstile turnstile i never know how to pronounce this but they were opening for blink on too they had so much energy when I saw Turnstile I remember why I like live music is this feeling that I've been chasing ever since I saw Aerosmith in 2017 I've been going to every concert so I can have that feeling again it's very specific I don't know if I ever, ever talked about this but it's a very specific feeling that I have that is like this rock this uh, raw rock sound you know of live music mixed with the, a little purple and a little pink light it's a very specific feeling and I could only feel it again after seeing Turnstile really good Billie Eilish just because I cannot put her as the best concert that's uh, one band spa and I cannot put as a generally cannot believe it was part of this experience because I've seen Billie Eilish three times already three or four I don't know and it's always so good actually it only gets better first time that I saw then it wasn't amazing but it was already very very good I saw the net reading and I became a fan after seeing then so the second time that I saw them live was like okay now I have a better background on Arctic Monkeys and it was very good Fonte Ah! Fontaine's GC! I can't believe I saw Fontaine's GC this year. It's also a band that I did not know about until I saw the Net Writing Festival. I always talk about it because Fontaine's GC is one of, if not my best find ever, okay? Like, I introduced this band to literally every person I know because it's so good. I mean, the Metallica problem was the crowd. I have a video about it, about my power trip experience that was literally traumatizing. But other than that, it was really good. It was really good. I'm, I'm very thankful that I got to see Metallica. Joyce Manor, my friend's band, I never got to see it in, and finally did. And The Offspring, that was surprising. Uh, the Offspring, oh my god, literally so good. I'm surprised as well. Baby girl, we're heading to the most important categories on the Camilo Awards. Make sure that you already liked the video and got subscribed, because now we're gonna talk about the concerts that I genuinely cannot believe that I was part of this experience, because it was something else. Stevie Nicks at SoFi Stadium, it was my first concert of the year, and I mean, it's literally Stevie Nicks. I could see some songs from Fleetwood Mac, some songs from Stevie, I love her. I think like every girl who likes me Music and it's a little bit like we're into like crystals and um astrology and things like that we're gonna fuck with Stephen Nicks and I really do I can't fucking believe I saw that woman in front of me I was far but I can't believe I saw that woman in front of me stop the Roxy is a small venue here in LA usually like really small bands play in there but Weezer is a really big band and one of my favorite bands of all time they were playing at the Roxy I found out very last minute I tried to get tickets I was around $600 I kept looking at it until the last minute literally the last minute I was coming back from school the concert was about to start I'm like I'm gonna see how much are the tickets two tickets last 150 I saw Weezer at the Roxy iconic honestly iconic first of all it's blackpink i'm not a k-pop bitch i've never been i was with a friend at coachella who was a fan of them but she left me i mean not that she left me i love her listen to her by the way she wanted to see them in the front right so she got barrier of course baby girl go for it and i was with other friends at coachella but they wanted to see something else so i just stayed there by myself who is my favorite Ah, uh, is uh, Jenny. Jenny, that's my favorite. Yeah, they serve looks, they serve outfit, they serve performance, they serve charisma, and also first K-pop band to perform at Coachella. Clap, clap, clap. Avenged Sevenfold at the Kia Forum. Uh, I hate that they changed the name. Literally, like uh, the forum was so good because I was with them. 
So of course it was a very special experience. Lana Del Rey, I love Lollapalooza because I saw my baby girl. I love Lana so much and Lollapalooza is her static. The crowd was so good, so passionate. The set list, long, good. A mix of fan favorites with hits. Oh, Lana, you did everything and more. The tour, I mean, needless to say, right? I became a Taylor Swift stan for this little period of the time that did affect me in my Spotify rap. Other than that, yeah, definitely chaotic not taking for granted very grateful i saw the era store oh i saw a blink but it's way too much for someone who doesn't like that i think i saw them six or five times by now i remember the first couple at least was without tone tone is the charisma the soul of the band respectfully blink 182 is up there in my top five worst concerts so i saw their comeback their actual comeback at coachella that's why i'm putting them here because honestly ah oh, yeah i saw them a few times just this year was like four but I put a Coachella because the Coachella one was the actual comeback and the energy, ooh, something else. They even replaced Frank Ocean for the second weekend of Coachella after that shit show. It was really good after. You know, I also saw then in a solo show at uh, the BMO Stadium. I saw them twice at uh, When We Were Young Festival. After it, it got tiring for sure. But definitely with Ton, it makes a difference. It's charismatic. It's cool. Green Day. Honestly, it should have been in, oh my God, literally so good. But it's Green Day. So I'm going to have to put, I generally can't believe I was part of this experience because Green Day is one of my favorite bands. I always say one of my favorite things in life is to take people to their first Green Day show because I know they're gonna have a good time. I like to see the reaction after even if they're not fans. <sighs> Kiss. I almost put KISS as the best concert, okay? Cause it was something else. It was so good. Every song is a different performance. They they really give everything of themselves. And they said something so interesting cause they were like, when we were young and we were like seeing other bands playing, we, we thought that they were doing us a favor like when they were on stage and that's why we created our own band. And that's what I've been saying for years. I hate when I see a band playing like it was a favor. And it was one of the last KISS concerts ever. It's my first and only time seeing them. I never really liked them because I read the biography of Paul Stanley at one... It was Paul, no, it wasn't Paul Stanley. Paul Stanley is the one I, I like. I had a, it was Paul Stanley. I met him really good. I almost pulled at the best concert, especially because it was one of their last shows ever. Mmm. I wasn't ready for it either. Karma came to me in a way that I've spent all my life saying I didn't like ACDC. I think they self plagiarized themselves. I said many, many things over the years, okay? But I saw ACDC at Power Trip. Was I giving a shit? A little bit. I wasn't that excited until everyone that was with me was saying that it was the first time that they were play performing in ears and like they're really, really old. So, you know, you gotta see then. And I'm like, okay, I was gonna see any anyways but now i gotta see them i did oh out of 48 hours best concert oh how do i start not even 30 seconds in and i already changed my mind over 20 years of a mindset change in literally 30 seconds because it was so good so much energy the way they play ah the aesthetic so cute they're old man but it's so cute oh i don't know like you can tell they're old but it's still because they have that youth energy and that youth aesthetic they're still there so it, it was something very magical like honestly i think i could make a whole video just about acgc as well ah the energy the the stage presence i'm still thinking about that show if i could relieve any of those concerts probably would have been acc honestly one of the best concerts of my life and that's it i clapped so much in this video that's it i hope you guys liked the video if you did don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up and if you didn't i know my business okay bye